Good morning and welcome in to this Monday morning Facebook Live. And I went from suddenly having lots of time to um, finding little jobs to do and suddenly nearly being very late. Um, so, welcome back. It seems like an age since I was last here. It has only just been over a week, but it feels like a lot longer. Um, got my glass of water. And it's sort of feeling really quite autumnal this morning. A little bit of a, a chill in the air. Um, but I've had my week away. I'm now back. It seems like ages since I've been in my craft room playing. So I hope I haven't forgotten everything. Um, but this is our first chance to really play live with the Christmas catalogue. Um, I hope you managed to catch up with some of the YouTube videos and things I left for you last week. Um, and I'll just quickly show you. So what I was playing with last week, and I made those videos that went out on our usual live t um, slots. So last week I was playing with the um, Mug of Christmas set. Um, have I still got it next to me? Yes, yeah, so the Cup of Christmas was the set that we were playing with last week. And this is the um, set that is um, patent pending because it is the reversible set. So these stamps, you can stamp on one side, clean them off, turn them over, stamp on the other side. So we were having a bit of a play with those in the videos last week. So if you haven't had a chance to catch up with those, you've got stamp sets and you've got dies, you'll find those both linked on my Facebook page and you'll find them in my YouTube channel. And here was the cards that we made. So um, the video that I put up last Monday was this little three by three card with sort of hollies in the background one of these lovely mugs, sparkly um, red um, paper. So this is some of the red glimmer paper that's in the Christmas catalogue. Um, Comfort and joy. So that was the little card that, we, that I made on the video for last Monday. And then the video that posted last Thursday. Um, this wasn't a Christmas card. This was tea. I'm here if you need me. This is the tea and sympathy card. So this was demonstrating those stamps being stamped one way and the other way. Um, die cut out. Um, yeah, good fun. And then I also created... A little box and this is one of the gold pizza boxes that's also in the um, autumn winter catalogue um, and you've cut some of these cards and um, these mugs you get these sort of inner pieces that you can cut out and cut those out of gold foil used a bit of gold embossing some of the new gold pigment um, ink and some of the new ribbon that actually is copper but we we, we decided we could get away with it um, in amongst all that gold <coughs> because it's still metallic so there we go and we've added in some of the little um, rhinestones as well that's almost silvery so you sort of got a hint of all sorts of metallics going on in that funky little Christmas box so those were the projects that I made um, and I made the videos for to go live last week so if you haven't seen those you can still find them to say either linked on my Facebook page or you'll also find them on my YouTube channel but that's not what we're playing with today that was last week today we're going to be playing with um, the set that's called the Still Scenes Bundle. That's our bundle for this week. And if you have a little look right on the front pay on the front cover of the catalogue, this is using some of the um, elements from that Still Scenes Bundle. Um, so we flick open the the catalogue. Um, oh, here's one down here. This was nearly the one I went for to do today. Really nice sort of snow globe effect with blues and pinks in the background there, blended background. Um, and then as we flick through to page 43, I believe it is, it is, we get the bundle. And um, here's the projects that they've got there. We'll have another little look at those and we're going to make one of those. Um, but the bundle consists of this beautiful stamp set here. So you get your snow globe outer, you get this lovely ornate snow globe base, you get a little picture, a little um, element to go in your snow globe you get some snow down here um, so yeah some, and this nice season's greetings may the timeless message of Christmas fill your heart and home with joy today and always it's rather nice isn't it and um, so you get your stamp set and then you get your dies that go with it 
so you can cut out your snow globe shaped hole you've got this ornate die here we'll look at that a bit more in a minute this one cuts out that stamped image you've got some trees you've got a die that cuts out your little house image you've got some church a deer and a couple of little polar bears really cute um, and also you've got some snowflake sequins and you've got snow globe shaker domes so we'll show you those as well so let's have a little look at these in a bit closer detail so the stamp set it is a um, cling stamp set so it is red rubber and actually that's what I was doing just before I came live I thought oh I've got five minutes I'll just put the stickers on the back of these stamps and then suddenly it was eight o'clock um, so that's that's the Still Scenes stamp set with your, so say you've got your um, die base, you've got your, your dome, um, so you can just do sort of flat faux shaker, um, sort of snow shakers if you want to. Um, you've got a little bit of snow there, you've got your house. Um, then you've got your dies. And this die here, um, I was just thinking that was something else I was playing with just now. I thought, well, I'll cut it. So if you cut it, run it through with your cutting plates it actually cuts out so let's um just put that onto a background so you actually get this really beautiful ornate um, image that you can put onto because you have got your, your your plain one so you could cut a plain background and have a fancy ornate topper on it so you could have a different colour at the background there so you could have I don't know um, cherry cobbler at the back with a copper top to give that a bit of fanciness on the top but you can also and I don't know how well this is going to show up because I did it in black um, I also used most die cutting machines have um, options for embossing rather than just cutting so I've actually embossed that image in there now if I had to cut it out first and then embossed it I'd have had a nice embossed foil um, piece to go on the bottom of a, of a snow dome. But, so that's that. You can cut it out, you can emboss it into the card. So a couple of options with that. As I say, and you've got your trees, you've got your little polar bears. They're really sweet, aren't they? You've got this gorgeous deer. And I particularly like this card just here. They've not used a snow dome at all. They've just used those trees in the background and they've cut a deer out of gold foil and it really looks quite stunning um, really simple just a couple of die cuts this is say to cut out your dome this cuts out your your house picture you've got these little bits here this looks a bit like a roman villa um, but you can create churches with it so you could have a you could have a spire on the end you can have that so it sits in the middle and you've got that sort of effect of a church um, so yeah that gives you the options for churches or as I say you can you can change them around and, and make them into different um, buildings if you want to so those are the dies that go with it so they're really useful then you get these domes so they're a good solid plastic you've got double-sided sticky on both sides so you can stick it to your card and then once you've cut your hole in whatever you're going to put on the top you can then take this foil off and stick it to the underside of whatever your top is going to be. So really good seal on those, those domes. So really good, make really good shaker cards. So those are those. And obviously you don't have to just use them for your snow domes. You could put all sorts of things in there. And then we've got this snowflake sequins. And these are stunning. Little snowflakes and stars and really twinkly and really beautiful little sequins all in that sort of clear iridescent sparkly finish really beautiful right so let's have a little go at a card now this will be the first time that I have played with any of these products I feel as if I'm I'm behind with playing with my Christmas things I'm so busy concentrating on things I needed to get done before I went away didn't have all that much time to play but the one that we're going to have a go at is this one here with this nice plaid background and the little house scene inside so as always casing the catalogue I've got a list of the ingredients that they've used and it's just about working out what they've done so the first thing they've done is they've done a crumb cake card base so obviously I've made ours and um, this is a UK size one um, 
or anywhere that uses the A4 size cards. So we've got a piece of cardstock 21 centimetres by 14.9, scored at 10.5 centimetres to make our, our card base. And then I've got some of this um, plaid paper. Now this is out of a different bundle altogether in the catalogue. This is out of the, let's find it, wrapped in plaid suite. So there we are, there's our wrapped in plaid 6x6 speciality designer series paper and you really can't pick up on those pictures what you can't pick up is the gold foil that runs through all of these papers and just gives it extra twinkle all the way through really lovely makes it really elegant so having flicked through the papers I've decided I think this is the one that they've used it certainly is the one that we're going to use so we need to cut that down so it's slightly smaller than our card base so let's cut that so it is 10 centimeters wide and we'll pop that to one side because we should certainly be using that for something else and then we will have that little strip and even that little strip actually it's just enough to give something a bit of a lift so I shall put that to one side as well so I'm sure that will get used up somewhere along the line. So there we have our piece of designer series paper to go on the front of our card. And we're obviously going to need to cut a hole in that but we'll do that in a minute. We'll get round to our die cutting in a minute. I've also got a couple of pieces of um, shimmery white cardstock. That one is around about nine centimetres square. It's just um, I cut it big enough so that it will um, sit nicely behind the hole um, and have room round it to um, adhere it to the back of the paper. So that's that was just the logic in the sizing for that. And this is just a little piece, um, a little smidgen of a shimmery white that I'm going to use to stamp our little house onto. And I've also got some um, shaded spruce card here and I'm going to be stamping the base for our um, snow globe onto the shaded spruce. And I've got a few other little oddments to one side that we shall come to in a minute so let's have a let's do a bit of stamping so I'm going to take out this house so this is the little cottage and you've got the cottage and you've got a very variety of trees in the background there so a pretty little image and we're also going to need the season's greeting stamp so that's a nice big um, a nice big sentiment stamp and we've got this beautiful base for our snow globe we're going to need that as well so let's put those to one side for a moment and let's start with the house I think let's find some blocks I might have to have a bit of a hunt because I did take a few blocks with me here they are and they've not yet been unpacked is that one big enough for that one? Yes, I do believe it is. So let's have that on there. Let's get our stays on and ink up. My cottage, of course, this is the first time that this stamp has been inked. Press. Beautiful, look at that. Isn't that a lovely stamp? And got a little bush on the end here. Lovely. And there's no reason why you couldn't use that image for any time of the year. You could add some autumn leaves into it if you wanted an autumny trees. There is sort of snow, um, sort of. Uh, idea of snow on this tree but if you were to colour it all in you'd soon sort of make that a, a solid colour if you wanted to. <clears throat> right so I thought what we'd do with with this house is we've got some ink pads. I've got a cherry cobbler, I've got a crumb cake 
um, and I've got a shaded spruce here and then the, I've got a pool party as well but we're going to use that on our other piece of card so I thought what we would do is we would just use a blender pen and some ink from our ink pads and do a bit of bit of colouring on our house there are, there's some plum cake there's a little bit of cherry cobbler probably more than enough for what we need so let's um start with some cherry cobbler and let's give ourselves a nice red door there we go and then i think with some crumb cake we'll go in Add some colour in to the house itself. It appears to be sort of almost wood clad. going to possibly put a little bit of crumb cake on the edge but I think our house is going to be covered with snow so we're going to come back into that in a minute let's put a bit of sort of shading on our tree in the background there It's bare branches. Got its winter wear on. Put a bit of colour on the chimney, I think. Make that stick out a little bit. Give that a scribble, and then let's come in with some shaded spruce on this tree here. And we again want to leave a sense of there being sort of quite snow covered. On there, let's give a little bit of a trunk. Okay. Oh, and we've got this little bush down here as well, so we'll give that a little bit of colour. I think what we'll do next with that one is we will cut it before adding anything else to that one. So that one is ready for us to die cut it. So I'll sit that to one side for now. And while I've got our cherry cobbler out, let's stamp our sentiment. Um, and I would think this one possibly. Where's that gone? So we'll stamp that into some in some cherry cobbler. And a bit of whisper white card and we'll create a banner with that in a minute. Let's pop our cherry cobbler away. I think we can chop pop our crumb cake and our shaded spruce away for now. there ready to do something with that and we've got this other piece of shimmery white just here and what I'm thinking I'll do with that that one's got a bit more water in is we'll lay down a watercolour wash of some pool party just to give that a bit of background colour Got a bit of bit of dog in there. We just like to get involved. In a bit of crafting. There, so that will just give us a, a sort of sky background behind our house. So it's it's a 
hardly showing up on there at all but it is a nice sort of bluey green wash in the background there so let's leave that to one side to dry off a minute and then the other thing we need to do is we need to stamp our um, base for our snow globe so let's get a a block for that and this time we're going to use some Versa Mark so let's give this a bit of a wipe with our embossing buddy ink it up with some Versa Mark give that a stamp and then we're going to bring in some gold embossing powder And the other thing I could have done with this is I could have used one of our new um, metallic pigment inks if I'd have wanted to sort of make it a bit of a quicker process. Right, there we are. So gold embossing powder. Let's bring in the heat gun. Excuse the noise. Let's just heat that up for a minute. And there she blows. Look at the detail in that. How beautiful is that? It's a stunning stamp, isn't it? You could almost that make that sort of like a glamorous cake stand or all sorts of things, couldn't you? Well, I've got my heat gun out. I'm just going to give this a bit of a blast to dry that off. Morning, Sarah. Having a waft round with a heat gun just to dry that off a bit. Okay, so we've got our watercolour wash background. We've got our gold embossed base for our snow globe. We've got our little house that we've um, done some colouring on and we've got our greeting. Let's do some bit of die cutting and a bit of titivating of those and then we can start putting this, putting this baby together. Okay, let's move this pile of things out of the way. So we've got room for our, oh, just turn the light on. Got room for our um, die cutting machine, our big shot. Right, there we go. Let's tuck those out of the way. Let's find our dies. Now, what die are we going to need? We're going to need to cut a hole in our designer series paper for our snow globe shaker to go into. We're going to need to cut out our little house and we're going to need to cut out our base. So we're going to need those three dies. <coughs> Excuse me, I could feel that sneeze coming on. Let's get our machine. Oh, windy, windy, windy. So our base and our house. Let's do those first. Those are our stamped images. Let's get that the right way round. So that's going to cut out that beautiful gold embossed base. And this is going to cut out our little house that we've coloured with a blender pen and ink. Eyes falling all over the place. Good, yeah. Let's tuck that out. 
tuck those back onto the metallic onto the magnetic sheet so we don't lose them. So there's our base. I'm going to fiddle about with that a bit further in a minute. Here's our little house. We're going to have a bit of a fiddle with that a bit more in a minute. And the other thing we need to do is we need to cut our hole in our paper. So we need to decide whereabouts that's going to go. So it needs to be towards the top. Make sure that's relatively straight and central. About like that, I should think. And let's run that through and cut our hole. Right. Now I'm sure there's going to be a use for that, so we'll tuck that to one side as well. Don't want to waste anything. And let's pop our big shot out of the way while we finish putting this working on this card. Right, so our little house just here, I've actually got my chalk marker just here. So I think I'm going to add in a bit of the chalk white. It doesn't show it up ever so much, but it does just help to give a bit of a sense of a bit of depth of colour on there. We're not yet able to get the puff paint that would work really well on there but we're still waiting for that to come through through customs we could have put some um, glitter on there but as I say I'm just going to add some of this chalk paint and the other thing that I'm going to do is take the pool party pad and my blender pen and add in a bit of pool party ink around these trees just so that that will then blend in with our water washed background. There we go. Okay, so we have our card base. We have our paper topper that's ready to receive our globe just there, our dome, which fits beautifully. We have our water washed background to go in the background there. So it just is then about um, building up our picture in the middle. Right, so let's use, um, ooh. See, I took a few little things away with me and because I've not been crafting, it's like, what did I do with those? Here we go, let's get our snail out. Let's unpack our snail from our holiday bag and we'll put a bit of snail on there and we'll add that there. We're not too worried about lining that up. But this we are going to want to line up. So I would think the best thing to do would be See if we can find a pencil and just do a very faint pencil mark there so that we know where to build up our picture in the front. Now the other thing I did do was I did cut some more trees. I just cut some of those out of there 
Do we want another layer of trees behind just to give a bit of something else in the background? What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to snip these trees here just so that I can explode them out a bit so that they can fill that background. And then we can have our house standing in the front. I quite like that. So let's stick these trees down with some snail because we want those stuck directly onto the back. So that they're coming out either side. And then our little cottage I'm going to raise that up with some foam pads. So it stands proud at the front like that. And then we're going to take some of our little snowflake sequins and I'm just going to sprinkle some of those in the middle for now. And then we're going to peel off oh no that's another little sequin go down there sequin need to get the tape of the back here there we go got just started so that's double sided a good solid um, double sided tape on the back there now excuse my head while I just line this up and stick that down there Give that a good press round to ensure we've got a good seal because we don't want our sequins escaping and then we need to get the top double sided tape off and let's put some snail round here all that round so we're happy with it there we go press that down and now we've got a shaky snowflakes in there excellent there you can see those twinkling little snowflakes and then we've got our banner. Now then, what we've done with what we've done with this banner is that they've actually cut it in order to explode it out a little bit. So one bit's going to go there, one bit's going to go there, and then we're going to have our um, greeting running across the middle. So let's trim this greeting down a little bit. My trimmer. Um, we'll take a little bit off the top as well. And then we'll cut it that way and that way, and just slightly banner the ends one end and 
two ends and that's going to go across the middle there so let's put the top of our snow globe so that it's snuggled underneath our shake a bit and I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to actually stick that in place so that I know I've got my bottom lease piece in the right place just look and see if I've got any big little ones will do oh got a bit excited there right way up we'll have the season's greetings coming across that way like that and then the bottom piece of our snow globe we will put in there and it gives the illusion of being a really tall bottom piece on that snow globe but it is only exactly the same it's just the little one cut in half with a bit of a greeting going through it so there's one more thing that they've added on to the little um, example that is in the um, catalogue and it's one of these little jingle bells so these also are in the perfectly plaid suite the same suite that the um, paper comes from and you've got a little, little set of jingle bells you've got um, sort of cherry cobbler ones shaded spruce ones and gold ones I think we'll have a little gold one to add on to there. And then I've got a little bit of silver thread. This will be fiddly live, won't it? There we go. Now the end of that thread's got a little bit... Oh, look at that. We've done so well, hadn't we? <laughs> I was just saying that the end of that thread is looking a bit battered, so I was going to leave enough to be able to chop that off. Okay. Let's get it tied in a knot, and then it's not so likely to go anywhere. Right, we've got a little bell on the end of our thread. We're now going to attempt to tie a bow with it. I know how much everybody loves tying bows. One, two, I'm sure you can't see this, I'm struggling to see this. <laughs> One. Oh, let's do bunny ears. Two bunny ears. And we get that through there. Have we managed a bow? I do believe we have. No, we haven't. Oh, just talk amongst yourselves while I attempt to tie a bow with some silver thread. Sometimes, you know, you can fall out with concept artists, can't you? side I still don't think that's a bow I may give up on a little bow out of silver thread shall we have one more <laughs> yeah so I'll, I'll do yours for you I think bows out of silver thread are probably not a good idea.
I think we might have got it this time. Yes. Right, we have a bow out of silver thread. I hope that's going to be everybody's favourite bit. Everybody's going to admire the bow from silver thread. It's going to be like, that was the bit that absolutely finished the card off for me, Helen. Right, let's find a glue dot that's going to be in my holiday bag as well. Let's dig them back out. Let's get them back into action. Let's get a good old glue dot on there and stick it in place. Look at that. I hope you're admiring that beautiful silver thread bow with its little dingly dangly gold bell. How beautiful. I may fiddle with that a bit more in a minute. So there we have our little shaker card, a little snow dome with little sequins in, snowy sequins in there. And our expanded base. So a really pretty little card. And these snow domes are really lovely. And as I say, having that double lot of adhesive on it just means that you get a really good solid stick with it and none of your sequins and things are going to be escaping out of the outside. In fact, a lot of demonstrators have actually made snow globes with water in. Um, I need just to have a look at the glues and things to making sure that you get a good watertight seal um, before we start playing with that, but adding some glycerin. And, and things and they found that that does actually hold water as well so uh, you can get really authentic with your snow domes so there you go that's today's card um, and it's been lovely to be back with you this morning getting back into some sort of semblance of of order um, knowing that the next few months are going to be really busy this run up now September October early November um, as we run up towards Christmas really really busy um, if you haven't got your autumn and winter catalogue then make sure you get your hands on one um, because you're going to want to be looking at things like um, these snow domes and um, snowmen and Christmas tree punches and jingly bells beautiful stars um, and we'll be looking at more and more of those over the next coming weeks we'll be playing with those a bit more but for today there's our first there's my first card that I've made with my still scenes bundle um, but we'll be making some more on Thursday so do come back and join me again then um, but in the meantime have a lovely week and I'll see you soon